in this exercise, uh, we will assemble the uh, mold. So we name it uh, as the mold assembly. So before you start do this exercise, make sure you um, copy this start CTF file into your working folder. So you can right click and then select save target as and then save it into your um, working folder. Okay. Uh, after you pick your working folder, uh, don't forget to uh, select the save here. Okay. And then uh, after you save it into your working folder, uh, next step is want to unpack it. So we just select the file and then select unpack. And then select the start CTF file. Just now you save it into your working folder. Okay, click here and then open it. Okay, now you have the two uh, parts file. So uh, press the control button key on the keyboard and then press A to select all and then select the unpack. Okay, the destination path means uh, you where you uh, want to put uh, this uh, unpack file. So I recommend you to put it into your working folder. Okay, after that, uh, the use folder part, we change it to without folder history. After that, you click OK. It will uh, save it into your working folder. Okay, and then um, to start the mode uh, exercise, we need to use the mode setup a wizard. So the assembly name is mouse cover. Okay, and then we need to create a folder. After that, uh, the unit is in MM, and then we click the preferences. Okay, double click the mode base and then double click the name generator and then click the assembly name make sure the suffix here is uh, nothing is blank okay after that we click ok and here also ok okay the parting is um, Next, we need to load the work part. So uh, we select here the icon here, load work parts, and then select load work parts. After that, um, we open the file. This this open the file, and then select it from your working folder. Uh, we select here this mouse cover. Select. After that, uh, click OK. Oh, sorry. Before click OK, make sure the MM and the Apply Sync Reach of the work model is selected. Okay. After that, select OK. Now uh, we need to select the UCS. Okay. After that, we uh, change to isometric view. And then change to um, the wireframe mode. After that, we need to edit work UCS. So click here. Yes. And then click here and then click here. Okay, after that, select. In step 3, we need to split the model into core and cavity. So, what we need to do is change back to mixed render mode. <clears throat> After that, we need to hide the layout here. After that, we click the parting tab. After that, a double click mouse cover work to activate it. After we activate the mouse cover work, now we want to select the parting quick split after that uh, click OK and then we just open the slider 
Um, the gray color here is an assigned face, so we click here and then move the mouse to here. Press middle button of mouse. Okay, after that, close. Then we need to rename uh, the split 1 and the split 2. So just right click and then select rename. This is cavity. This is a core. Next, we need to drop the angle. So we need what we need to do is select um, the analysis tool and then select drop angle analysis. We can uh, uh, open the slider and then show the dialog. And then the rate is undercut, means undercut, so we uh, rotate it. This is rotate. We, or, or we can press the control button on the keyboard and then uh, left click the mouse to rotate it and then see whether it uh, have the undercut in red color. Okay. Next, we want to create a parting line. So we need to select the parting and then select parting line preview. Okay, after that, we need to uh, hide the cavity. And then we select the two, select composite. And then uh, the chain option, we change it to along open edge. After that, we pick this line. So the arrow is uh, like uh, in the right hand side. So this is the uh, last edge. After we create a parting lines, now we need to create a parting uh, faces. So what we need to do is um, select the parting surf and then select external. The width here is 100. Okay, after that click OK. And then we select the parting, click split. And then show the cavity. After that, um, we open the slider. Next, we want to load the mobase. base. Uh, we need, need to close this quick split and then we select the assembly tree and then uh, select the mouse cover and then right click activate assembly. Okay, after that, we need to select the mobase, base, new mobase. base. Okay, make sure the Hasco MM is selected and then we select the 9 plates B. After that, uh, the item here is K series and then the catalog code is 346, 346. Okay, after that, uh, hide dialog, click here to see it, we rotate it. Okay, back to show dialog. And then we click next. Okay, uh, the P2, K2, uh, K20, we change it to 56. And then the pre 3 here, we change it to 36. And the R1, we change it to 76. And then select next. Finish. Next step is export to part. 
so we need to select export to part here and then the pick target part we change it to pick target sub assembly export to new part and then the target assembly uh, is this make a fixed size mouse cover or you can click here and then the new part name is cavity Okay. After that, we press middle button of mouse to uh, next step. After that, um, we need to change the fixed site to wireframe mode. So we click here to change it wireframe mode. After that, we select this space and then click OK after that we uh, click the parting tree and then the cavity um, split direction under the cavity new part after that we need to hide the cavity and then uh, make sure the um, fixed side is hidden Okay, after that, uh, we click the export to part again and then the, uh, select this movable side mouse cover. Okay, this is movable side mouse cover and then the name is core. Okay, after that, uh, press middle button of mouse. So, uh, jump to next step, and then um, we select.